Hey everyone, I'm Todd and in this video I'm going to give you a quick demo on how to use the Swift Package Exporter for Figma. So essentially what this plugin does is it takes all of your design tokens in Figma, like your color styles, your type styles, shadows, grids, and even images, and it bundles them all up into a Swift package that you can include in Xcode. For designers this is really great because it means that all that um, all that code is getting generated automatically directly from your Figma file and it's being packaged in a really easy to use uh, format that you can hand off to developers. On the developer side it's great because once you include that package in your project you're going to have access to all of the design tokens directly through the Xcode editor and through code completion. So to show you how all this works let's take a look at the sample file that you can find on our website or on the Figma plugin page. All right, so here we are in our sample file, and you'll see that we've already got a bunch of styles created over here. We've got text styles, we've got colors, we've got a gradient, we've got shadows and some blur effects, and some grid styles down here. What's great is there's nothing special you need to do to um, export your styles. Um, they'll just work out of the box. So if I go ahead and run the Swift Package Exporter plugin, you'll see that it automatically recognizes all those styles and there's nothing else you need to do. For images, there's a few additional steps that you need to make sure you're doing. So the first thing is, the plugin currently only works with vector-based images, so any other types of images the plugin's going to ignore. The second thing is, they need to be defined as components and they need to be wrapped inside this frame named images.swift. Now, the reason why we're doing things this way is because we want to make sure we're not uh, exporting every single image inside your Figma file. Uh, we only want to import or export the images that you intend on using inside of Xcode. So um, this images.swift frame is what we're using to um, specify what you want to include and what you want to exclude in that package. And that's it. That's all you need to do inside uh, of Figma to um, get your design tokens ready for export. So let's go ahead and run the plugin and export a file. And next I'm going to show you how easy it is to use this package inside of your Xcode project. And to do that I actually have this um, pretend to do app and we're going to go ahead and build out this welcome screen. So let's hop over to Xcode and I have a blank project. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to unzip that file and we're going to drag this whole design system folder right into the project navigator under our app name. Once we've done that, we're going to jump over to the general settings and under frameworks, libraries, and embedded content, we're going to add the design system package. Then over in uh, whatever view you're building in, um, in this case we're just going, jumping into the default content view, we're going to go ahead and import the design system module. And that's it. That's all you need to do to import, um, that's all you need to do to include the package and start using the design tokens in your Swift UI views. So let's go ahead and start building out that welcome screen. And we'll start by setting the um, background color to that light, light purple. So to add a color, you said color design system, and here's where the um, Xcode's code complete is coming into play. And uh, we're going to use primary light, so that's that background color. And we're also going to say ignore safe area dot all, so it stretches out. And you should see our background color showing up. All right, so that's how you use colors. Um, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add some of the um, other elements on that screen, starting with the title. So um, we'll add a V stack here, and we'll add our title. Do dot AI. And here we're going to use one of the font styles that we have defined in our document. And we're going to say font design system. And again, code completion is going to give us um, all of the font styles that we have available to us. So headline one is what we're going to use. 
right below the text, we're going to include that image that we have. Um, so we're going to say image, design system, and welcome is the name of the image that we have in our Figma file. So that's going to insert that welcome illustration. All right. Um, the other thing we can do here is we can define the spacing between these elements in this VStack. Um, and we can use one of the grid styles that we have in our Figma file. And we do that by saying spacing, spacing dot design system dot, I think extra large was the one that we were using. So that's going to that's going to use the um, spacing style that um, you included in the package. All right, um, let's go ahead and add that other text that we have in the design. We'll add another V stack for this text area, and we'll say text, and um, what's most advanced to do list. And here we're going to use another one of our font styles. Font.designs system dot headline two. And I'm going to center this text to center. And then right below that we'll add some body text. Um, let's see. Just copy this paste, copy and paste this. And for this text, we're going to say font dot design system dot body. We'll center it. And we'll give it foreground color of secondary text. So color dot design system dot text secondary. All right, um, last thing we're gonna do is add that button that we have in our design right below this text block. So um, right here, I'll go ahead and insert a button and we'll say get started. We'll make sure the font is using our button style. And let's go ahead and start adding some styles to this button. We'll start by defining the frame. Say max width, infinity, max height, uh, 60, and one, one center. And for the background, we're going to use that gradient color from our Figma file. So color dot design system dot highlight. We're going to um, clip the shape so that the corners are rounded. We'll add some uh, horizontal padding. And the last thing we're going to do is use one of those effect styles from our Figma file um, by saying effect dot design system, and uh, we'll use elevation four, which is one of the shadows. All right. So we've got one error here. Effect dot design system modifier. Oh, got a spelling mistake. All right. And let's just change the color of this. Foreground color, color dot white. And we'll add some padding around our whole V stack. All right, there you go. So um, hopefully that shows you how easy it is to um, use the package file inside of Xcode and um, build out um, your view using all of your design tokens. Um, hopefully this video is helpful. The plugin is free to use, um, so uh, feel free to give it a try. And of course, 
Um, if you have any feedback, questions, or um, run into any issues, please feel free to reach out. Um, you can find um, the contact information on the website, figmataswift.com, or on the Figma plugin page. All right, thanks.